Hey you guys, so I'm back today, and it is St. Patty's Day. Got my Boston Pride here with my Celtics. So I hope you all are having a great day. Um, I worked this morning, and I will be staying in tonight because I'm a loser, so. <laughs> but I wanted to get this video up, and so today I thought I would go into my thoughts about the Ipsy Glam Bag and the Sephora Play Box. So if you've never heard of them before, they're just like, beauty subscription things that you get like these little sample products and then you review them online and then next month they send you something else and each bag has like a theme. And I figured that the Ipsy Glam Bag and the Sephora Play Box are like kind of like the main players right now. I know there's like a few other ones like Birch Box and Boxy Charm and things like that that are really, you know, getting up there, but I figured these were like the most popular ones and that I've had for a long time. And I've had these for a while and so I've been able to develop an opinion about them, and I do have each of the March bags right in front of me here, so we can compare and contrast them and see if you would like to go and purchase one for yourself. Okay, so I figured I would go into the Ipsy Glam bag first, because I've had that the longest. Um, I've had this bag for about like a year, maybe two years now, and so I kind of discovered it after getting rid of my Birchbox. So I canceled my subscription to Birchbox, I can't say that word subscription. Um, to Birchbox because I felt like I just kept getting, like, hand creams and, like, dry shampoos. Like, things, like, I just didn't need. And it kind of just, like, got boring. And so I canceled that. So I don't know if you've heard of Michelle Fan or Fan. I don't really know the exact way to say her name. Um, she's here on YouTube, or used to be. And she was, like, one of the first, like, beauty gurus out there. And, like, really made it big. And so she created this company called Ipsy. And so it was from Michelle's page and from her videos that I discovered the Ipsy Glam Bag. So a few things to go over before getting into the actual bag is that there is a waitlist. So when I first discovered it, I went online and I signed up with my email and it said that there was a waitlist of like an indefinite time. So I kind of just like signed up hoping for the best, like hoping it wouldn't take too long. But then they emailed me and they were like, if you want to skip ahead in the waitlist, follow these instructions and like you'll skip ahead. And the instructions were like follow, like people like Desi Perkins and, like, Christine Dom Dominique and, like, you know, Katie from Luster Lux, like, those type of people who were working for Ipsy at the time, um, like, follow their pages and then, like, it'll kick you ahead or something of that nature. And so I did that, no problem, and then the next day I was in line to get an Ipsy bag for that month. And so once I got my Ipsy bag, it came, um, not the month that I actually signed up, but the following month, around, like, the middle of the month, like, the second week of the month and it is a $10 a month subscription fee. And so that fee is taken out of my bank account every month, but like I think it's like the first of every month. They're pretty good about it. It comes out the first, and then I get my bag two weeks later, and they let me know when my bag has shipped and when to expect it. In the shipped email, they usually give you like kind of like hints of like what you should get in your bag and like the theme of this month and like things like that that are really nice. And then you get your bag, and so I'm gonna show you this month's bag. So this month kind of looks like this, or kind of, it is this, <laughs> and it folds over almost like a little wristlet or clutch or whatever. And it always comes with this like little tag here, so this one says, you are beautiful, pass it on. It has like some sort of like promotion on the other side with like a hashtag, so if you want to get involved in the Ipsy community, you can. These are great, they just kind of like give you a little bit of inspiration, things like that, and go along with the theme. So the bags themselves, each month they change, but what I love about them is that they are reusable. They come with a really nice zipper on them, they're usually pretty substantially sized. Um, this one is a little bigger than normal, I'll show you a regular sized one. So a regular sized one is usually like half this, um, this is kind of just like special for this month I guess, but they usually come around this size. And on the inside you have your product, so we're going to go right in. So each month I've been getting five products. So this month in my Ipsy bag I got um, the Snail Serum from Lady Kim, and it comes in a cute little snail thing. I also got the Tardis Lip Paint from Tarte in the shade Delish, which looks really cute, really nice, neutral. I also got this Dirty Little Secret Blush. Can't open it. Which is really neutral as well, really wearable. And this is in the shade Kitty Pink. I got the City Color Photo Chic Dark Spot Corrector. And I got these Chella um, tweezers that have a cute little, like, handy rip almost. 
and they come with a slanted edge, so I'm definitely going to be using these. And so that's like an average bag, so they usually come with like something skincare related, maybe like a few things makeup, and then like one tool of some kind, maybe it's a brush, or like these tweezers right here, um, it's really like a versatile bag. And so then once you've got your bag, you can go online and leave comments or reviews about the products that you've gotten. And this will help whoever is creating your bag kind of narrow down on what you'd like to see next. So the things that I love about Ipsy is that they ship really quickly, like right after they charge me, it's shipped out within a few days. The bags themselves are really nice and reusable. You can use them as like a pencil bag or even a makeup bag. I mean, this is pretty substantially sized. Like if I'm traveling or something and didn't feel like getting a separate makeup bag, I can just put my things in here. It also introduces me to products that I've never seen before and that I could really try out. And they're products that I see people that I watch here on YouTube use. And so that way I can kind of, you know, go along in the video with them without having to spend too much money. So now for my experiences with the Sephora Playbox. So I was actually emailed by Sephora, um, like an automated email or something, saying that they were going to be doing like a trial thing. And I haven't had this service for a very long time. I want to say maybe since like the end of summer is when they reached out to me. And I think they originally only reached out to VIB and VIB Rouge members to kind of give them the first dibs on whether or not they want to subscribe to the service. And so naturally I did. I kind of just like went through the little process there of entering my information. And then same thing, it's a $10 fee each month and it gets taken out in the first of every month. Now it's the same thing as the Ipsy Glam bag that it gets shipped out very quickly and I usually get mine around the second week of the month. So the few main differences there are between the Ipsy Glam bag and the Sephora Play box is that they usually come in a like sack, like a bag right here. So this, this month, um, the Sephora Play box for this month. And it came in like this pouch, which is reusable, but it's not something I would want to reuse to be honest. And it says glow your own way, which is kind of cute on here. I think these are especially handy maybe if you are traveling with jewelry. And like some of them do look better, like this is my February, and it has like this cute ribbon. And so this month I got six products, and Ipsy I got five products. I got the Living Proof, what is this, Full Dry Volume Blast. It is a like texturizing spray. I got the Benefit What's Up. I got a perfume sample by Chloe. I got this Longwear Shadow Stick by Bobbi Brown in the shade Golden Pink. And that's Golden Pink for you. I got the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. And I got the Josie Marin Surreal Skin Argan Finishing Balm. Now again, these are just deluxe samples, but it is a great way to be introduced to new products. So the thing I like about this is that they not only give you 50 Beauty Insider points, but they also demonstrate how to use these products if you're ever unsure or in just like wanting to be doted on. <laughs> And this month, they usually do this, and this month especially, they gave me this big, like, informational packet. Like, look at this. And it has all the products here with descriptions and how to use it, and, like, what it's supposed to do. And so each of the products has their own little rectangle here, packed with info. Something else that I like about the Playbox is that I often get products that I've seen in store, but, like, didn't want to necessarily buy. And so it's just like kind of like your sample service delivered to your door. So like you don't have to like feel weird asking for a sample in the store. They're sent to you and they're often products that I really want to try anyway. So it's really convenient for me. So yeah, so overall, so for the Ipsy Glam Bag, I would say that I like the shipment. Uh, it ships very quickly. They charge me appropriately and on time every single month. And it's $10. I get sent products in a reusable bag that is really nice to have. I usually get five products that I am like interested in trying out. They might be not brands that I've heard of before or products that I've heard of before, but they're things that like I've incorporated into my routines and I readily use. And my pointers about the Sephora Play Box is that they do send me products that I have seen before and I am eager to use. And they also bill me on time and it's the same price as the Ipsy Glam Bag, $10. And they send me five or maybe six um, items. They give me more information about how to use the products and what it's all about. They give me Beauty Insider points. But the only real downside that I don't like is that the bags aren't like super reusable. I mean, you obviously can, but I'm a brat. 
And so that's it, you guys, for this video. I hope you guys at least found it helpful. If you guys were on the market for a new beauty subscription box or bag, I hope you guys are able to use some of the information I gave you today to make your decision. And if this video is a big waste of your time, well, I hope you have a great St. Patrick's Day. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.